Do you ever feel that YouTube guides aren't in-depth enough? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I have a solution for you, and it is GameLeap. GameLeap is an educational video platform that helps you get the most out of Dota. Each hero is cleverly devised into special courses with lots of videos, which help you master all the finer points of how to play a player really well. And it's done by 7K plus MMR players. And don't forget, if you sign up for GameLeap, not only does it help you win more and get your MMR up, it also supports my channel. Hey guys, this is Brink. This is going to be the mid lane video for Sniper on his skills and talents. So Sniper is one of the strongest laners in Dota, but what really makes him a strong laner is the diversity in his skill build. So Shrapnel, as most people know, is one of his strongest skills, of course. It allows you to get that, you know, pushing out the wave potential, as well as general outplaying people mid. If people dive you and you cast a shrapnel or you cast a shrapnel in enemy trees as you're diving or anything, shrapnel really allows the outplay. So shrapnel is going to be definitely a big focus for you in your skill builds. So starting off level one, you usually want to get headshot or shrapnel based on the situation. Most of the time, you're probably going to be getting headshot this level, as your shrapnel level 1 isn't too strong, so I'd probably suggest getting headshot like 99% of the time. Sometimes get a little extra damage on your last hit, and your harassment potential is a lot greater with a headshot level 1 rather than a shrapnel. You can keep on getting those few little right clicks harassment on the enemy mid hero throughout the first and second wave, and it actually matters a lot. When that headshot procs, you might get an extra one or two hits in as they run away, or as you position around them moving forward or something like that. So level 1, you'll be getting your headshot for the extra harassment in the first wave and a little bit of extra last hitting potential. As for levels 2 and 3, we're going to be maxing in our shrapnel here. Once you hit that level 3 mark with uh, 2 points in shrapnel, your shrapnel is actually going to do a pretty good amount of damage, especially in combination with a headshot proc or two of them in, in a shrapnel field. So you'll be getting some really good harassment in at around level 3. So that's a good stage of your lane to be pushing your advantage if you have one. Level 4, we're going to be putting our first point into take game. This is for general range on Sniper. His range is actually not too high when you don't have take game points in, so it's good to value this. As for level 5, this is one of your special points as Sniper in the lane. Depending on your lane here, you can put third point in Shrapnel, which is good most of the time, but there's some heroes that you might want to stay further away from. That level 1 take aim doesn't have too much range built in. So against heroes like OD and Razor, we're probably going to put our level 5 point into take aim here for the extra little bit of range. Having that little bit of extra range with headshot as well as two points in shrapnel, you'll actually be able to kite these heroes most of the time if you go like a boots and sometimes a boots win lace build if you think you really, really need the movement speed. But against almost everything else, at level 5 you'll be putting your third point into shrapnel, having you at three points in shrapnel, one in headshot, and one in take aim at level 5. Level 6, we're going to be going to put our point into our ultimate all-around good spell at level 6. This isn't one of the heroes that you skip your ultimate. Level 7, we'll be putting our point into take aim if we're still having trouble against this OD and Razor, even with the two points in take aim. Otherwise, we'll be maxing out our shrapnel at this point. From then on, you max out your take aim and your headshot respectively. Take aim gets maxed after shrapnel, and when all the points are in shrapnel and take aim, then you max out your headshot afterwards, getting your ult at every single level succession that the ultimate's available, as well as the talents, of course. We'll be getting our talents at 10, 15, 20, and 25. This doesn't change on this hero. This isn't one of the heroes that you really need to skip these talents, as his talents are pretty good, but we'll go into that when we go into the talents here after. That's basically it for the skill progression for Sniper. Just going back on it a little bit, we're going to be maxing out our shrapnel first, but level one, we're going to be getting our headshot. If it's a tough lane, you know, put the second point and take aim after you have two points in shrapnel and one in headshot. And after that, you're going to be getting your talents every respective level, your ultimate every respective level, and maxing out your take aim after your shrapnel and headshot last. So as for talents on Sniper, his talents are actually pretty good, in my opinion. At level 10, you get the choice between 15 attack speed and mana regen. This depends on the game, but most games I find that the 15 attack speed is very beneficial, especially if you go something like a phase boots build. Phase boots do give you that extra bit of damage and movement speed for positioning, but you do lack that little bit of attack speed, so this talent really makes up for it. The mana regen is pretty good for 
sustaining your shrapnel usage, especially if you're getting that extra talent level 15 for 20 shrapnel DPS. But even if you get the DPS talent at 15, I still find this 15 attack speed at level 10 very beneficial. So I would go for the 15 attack speed most of the time. At level 15, like I said, the shrapnel DPS is really, really good. This extra DPS on the shrapnel actually makes your shrapnel do a ton of damage. The damage goes up significantly from this plus 20, so it's really good. But if you're having a lot of trouble staying alive, or they have a really bursty heroes, something like a Pudge or a Lina or something that's going to burst you, even Lion, you can get that 200 health at 15 as well. <laughs> as for level 20, you get really a cool choice between 25% cooldown reduction or 8 armor. So to put the 8 armor talent into perspective, a plate mail that you can buy for 1400 gold gives you 10 armor. So 8 armor in comparison to that, just for free through your talents, is actually a large deal of armor. It gives you a ton of resistance to physical. So if you're against a high physical damage team and you're having trouble sustaining your health, this is actually a really, really good talent to get at level 20. But if you're finding that you're fine and you're DPSing fine, using shrapnels, not really getting hit from enemies diving you or anything or getting on top of you, then the 25% cooldown reduction is 25% more uptime on your, your spells. So it's definitely the better talent to get if you're not having trouble staying alive. As for level 25, this is also a pretty interesting talent, plus 100 attack range or plus 4 shrapnel charges. If you do find you're running out of shrapnel charges and you're not having trouble hitting things, which you usually shouldn't be with maybe like a Dragonlance slash Hurricane Pike and max take aim, you'll be pretty far ranged already. So most of the time you probably will be better off getting the plus 4 shrapnel charges. But of course there's situations for everything, so don't just count it out right away. If you're really finding you're having a hard time hitting high ground or something, you can definitely get that plus 100 attack range and it'll help you out, of course. So to recap, we're probably going to be valuing the attack speed, shrapnel DPS, cooldown reduction, and shrapnel charges most of the time, but don't count out the other talents right away. They are all really good talents, so definitely look at the game that you're playing and what the enemy team can actually do to you and what your team has for capabilities against them and make your decision based on that. But of course, Attack speed and shrapnel charges with extra DPS is always really good. Definitely think about it when you're in the game rather than just choosing one based on a guide. That's basically it when it comes to snipers, talents, and skill build. Once again, I'm Brink. This is the sniper guide. We're going to be making more videos on this. So if you have any suggestions or comments, anything, leave it below. Thanks.